The big picture is that fossil fuels are a finite resource and climate change is real. And those two things are overwhelming drivers for the world going forward. It's very exciting to see new scientists and engineers who care passionately about the area of bioenergy. And I'm sure there are hundreds, thousands out there who are on the cusp of finding out how they can have a profound impact in the field of bioenergy now and in the future. I was basically looking for an idea that had to do with chemistry or biology because I loved those topics, they were my favorite topics. And I also wanted um, an idea that addressed a major global issue. I actually heard about people who were making biodiesel that can go straight into a diesel engine and they were doing that all in their garage. I wanted to uh, see if there was a way that I could impact the metabolism of the algae to try and make them overproduce oil. My co-founder and I had been talking about how we could use biotechnology to improve the planet and the environment since we were freshmen in college in the late 80s. There were quite a few bumps along the way, and our very original technology, the way we were trying to grow algae to make oil, didn't really work well. You need to learn from what the science tells you, and you need to try, fail, make a change, and then you start to make improvements, because finally you find something that works, and then you make a change, and it gets better. We've been partnered with the U.S. Navy since 2007, uh, delivering larger and larger quantities of fuels that meet their specifications to run their planes and their ships. My uh, grandpa came here in 1942, and I, uh, I'm the fourth generation. When I came back from playing ball, you know, I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. I kind of came back here to figure it out. We farm about 2,800 acres. We've been harvesting biostover in a renewable and a sustainable way. It's more jobs for the young farmers that are coming back to the farm. And so I think there's going to be even more people getting on board. Around 2005, 2006, we realized that there was an opportunity here to introduce biofuels into the Tudor United Sports Car Championship to build a whole green racing platform. And all of the cars competing, Chevrolet, the Corvette, Porsche, Ferrari, BMW, SRT, Dodge Viper, they're all competing with that cellulosic E85. We need people to demand that we have low carbon fuels, and then we need to continue to do the research, both on the biological side to make better strains and on the engineering side to make that whole process more efficient. I just like the fact that it's saving the environment. It's made here, and it's 50 cents less than what the regular gas is here, so I'm sold. <laughs> So that's jobs for manufacturers who are harvesting up that biomass. That's jobs for scientists and engineers. And it's homegrown jobs. And it's new jobs. And it's maintaining the US's competitive advantage, driving ultimately to billions of gallons of biofuels.